Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question from Philip about Stack Overflow reputation. I think this is a good one to address because I've gotten this question in, in various forms uh, quite a few times here. So uh, basically, I'm not gonna read the whole email, but he basically asks, you know, about Stack Overflow reputation. Has it helped me in my career? Do I recommend it? What do I think about about it? If you're not familiar, uh, go to stackoverflow.com. I think most developers are nowadays but but basically here's sort of my thoughts on this and this is it, and it's changed right a lot of platforms you have to understand have a, a first adopter sort of value to them right if you got on twitter when twitter first started you could have built a huge following really fast and but but now it's it's much more difficult same thing with like advertising on Google AdWords, right? There's a lot of spaces here in, in, the, in the world where we're being first. YouTube is, a, is another good one, right? A lot of really huge YouTubers, they started out really, really early and, and they, they got an advantage because there wasn't as much stuff out there. Same thing with Stack Overflow. When you first started on Stack Overflow, and, and I, I was in the beta there, but I wasn't super, super active. And you know, I've got like, what, 4,500 points or something. I don't even know if that's good anymore. But it's a decent, it's hard, I think it's hard to get that amount now, right, starting out. Uh, and it's because, heck, there wasn't very many questions. There weren't very many people answering questions. It was easy to just jump on there and get your answers upvoted by people, and you know, and and you and you didn't have this race for for answers to question. Now, I think if a question shows up on Stack Overflow, there's like 20 people answering it right away, trying to build up their reputation, and they're doing good answers that are detailed, and you know, I mean, they're they're spending a lot of time on this, so it's quite an investment now at this point. So I think. You know, to answer your question, early on, I think Stack Overflow made a lot of sense, especially if it was a new platform. A lot of people were, you know, having a, a reputation on there was sort of, sort of a rare thing. And it showed you could, it was a first, people hadn't seen it before. It was a good way to demonstrate your ability to solve problems and be helpful and explain things. And, and that was a real value, right? I mean, there are some famous developers that got famous really from it, John Skeet if you know of him, is one of them, right? So, and, and there's a few others, Build the Lizard comes to mind, you know, there's, there's a few few people out there that are, are kind of famous on, on Stack Overflow, uh, but it's really hard to do that today. So, I would say that in if you're starting out, yes, that would have been good, but I think the time has passed. I think now, today, if you want to build, a re I mean, you should probably get some kind of reputation in the Stack Overflow just to have something out there, but I don't think it's going to be very high value and it's going to take you a lot of time to build that up. So, for example, now, in order to build up a reputation, you're going to have to find all these questions that don't have answers and you're going to have to hunt for answers for them. You're not going to be able to come up with stuff off the top of your head in most areas. You're probably going to have to research and spend time trying to answer someone's question and that's that's going to be a lot of time and investment, and you're you're it's going to take you a long time to get to get reputation there. And then even when you do, right? How many employers are actually looking at this anymore? It's not the kind of new hotness anymore. I I sort of think that the Stack Overflow is sort of going to fade. In in the problem that I see with the whole platform right now, the biggest problem with it is that technology changes. The questions become old. You get bad information because it's old, so it's not as reliable anymore. And you know that's just gonna that problem is gonna keep on getting getting worse, right? There's not as much excitement. There's more people trying to game the system. There's more people trying to like uh, grind reputation points. So it's just not what it was. And an investment there, I don't think is is that good. Now you could, I mean, you could prove me wrong if you really, I, I guess if you're really devoted, right? And, and this works in any space. If you're, if you're the person who is really super devoted and you, you just focus your energy on that, you could probably build up a really good reputation and utilize that if you utilize it correctly to make the connections, to get good jobs, to, to increase your, your earnings. But in general, it's not going to help you, I don't think, much at this point. I wouldn't focus on it. And, and here's the other problem that I have with it, which is the amount of time required, and, and Philip mentioned this in his email a little bit, it is going to be is going to indicate a few different things. I mean, one, you could be unemployed, and so you have time to answer Stack Overflow questions. But then, why are you unemployed? You know, what it, it points to a personality defect in that case. Number two, you're doing this at work when you're supposed to be working, 
and that's a problem, right? I mean, most employers are like, I don't really want to hire you if you have a Stack Overflow habit, and I know that you're spending like three to four hours a day on Stack Overflow answering people's questions instead of working. That's a problem, right? And then I think the third scenario was you're doing this in your free time obsessively after work and stuff, and I don't know. I guess that's the, probably the best. That's the best answer, but uh, but you know a lot of employers are going to think one or two, the the first two. So anyway, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not a big supporter of using Stack Overflow to, and I don't see a huge advantage of using it to to increase your career. I figure, you know, you might as well do a little bit of answering, get it, get a reputation on there, but I wouldn't focus on it too much. And and I, I'm I'm just not hearing success stories from people today that are using that. You know, and I don't think as many employers are looking at that as much you know having one or two but I, I will one caveat here real quick and then I'll end this video but basically having one or two really good answers that you've put on there is going to be helpful because then you can point to that and if an employer looks you up and they find your stack overflow profile and the question that you have answered and you've answered a nice detailed helpful question then it's going to show that you know how to explain things well and that you you understand uh, whatever that technical topic is well but it's not going to show that you spend all your time on stack overflow so i think that could have some serious value so i would probably invest there but i wouldn't invest too heavily in the platform at this point it's just going to be too hard and the, and the benefits are not going to be there you can better spend your time creating your own blog as i said you know as i always say go to my devcareerboost.com slash blogging course you know just go to simpleprogram.com and sign up for the blogging course there and do that that's going to be much better than 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 messing with stack overflow at this point as at least for your career if that's, if that's what you're interested in is increasing your earning yeah, do that anyway that's all i got to say about that if you have a question for me email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com i try to get to all your questions but i do get quite a few of them anyway uh if you like this video subscribe talk to you next time